Hello, my name is Slavi Marino. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate one of our latest plugins that we have just released last week. It is called Orbisius UTM. If you don't know, if you don't know about UTM parameters, you can Google UTM parameters, Google Analytics, and you will see this tutorial, the second or third page. It's very nice. And basically, what it means is you have a link on your website and then you can specify four, five or six or more parameters which start with UTM and they have source, medium, campaign and so on. So basically those parameters I use for tracking just to see how many visitors have come to a given link from a given source. For example you can have this could be let's say this could be your site and then the medium could be Twitter or Facebook and the campaign could be a launch, product launch, or pre-launch, and so on. That information is very valuable. And our plugin allows you to collect that information, and when the person contacts you, that information will be appended to, to the email sent to you. So here's an example. So for this demo, I'm going to use our great service called QSandbox, which allows you to set up some test sites in just a second or two and then you can install plugins and themes from WordPress. Let's see, I'm going to click admin. So the plugins that I currently have here are contact form 7 and Rubicius UTM. Uh, by the way, I've created a very simple form uh, using contact form 7. It's just one field just for you to see and get an idea how it works. Let's go to the page here to configure the plugin. And here I've selected to collect information all the time. That means that if a user visits any link on your site, the plugin will collect that information in the current user session. And also, what you want to do is include several email addresses. And if there's an email that is sent to any of those email addresses, the collected information will be sent to you or to that person. That is done just in case if the user, if the system generates an email to the user so they don't accidentally see some information that's not supposed to be delivered to them. And the, the last option is to convert text new lines to HTML new lines. If your contact form plugin sends HTML emails and if this plugin is not able to detect if it's text or HTML email just you can click this box and all the text links will be all the text new lines I'm sorry will be converted to new lines but in most cases it should be fine just to leave it as is so the settings are done here and I quickly showed you the form here with the contact form 7 it's a very popular plugin if you need this short code and you need to paste it on a page. I've already done this, so let me show you here. So that's the contact form and it's pasted right here. So let's see the page. And I've done some tests and there's probably some information that's been collected already, but just to be on the safe side, let's go back very quickly and go to the settings again to CCTM and there's a test link. So when you click on it, you will see that the plugin has automatically appended UTM source and the campaign is testing Rubicius UTM plugin. Because that, so that means that there's at least one information that's been logged and that information should appear in the email. So the next step is to click on the sample page and then on the contact, testing, contact from 7 and send. The information has been sent, so let's check our emails. Okay, I just opened the email address and here's the collected information. This is the site that comes from the contact form 7 plugin. It, collect, it has collected 27 visits. Um, by the way, I've done some tests and that's why there's a lot of information. Usually that information is reset when the browser is closed or after 72 hours or if the user specifies a special link, a special parameter. 
to the link. So basically, you see the visits, the IP address, the pages, and there's the the page title, and that's the post type is page. This could be product if you have WooCommerce products and so on. Let's scroll down to the very end. We should see the campaign testing here. Testing UTM, testing or basis UTM plugin. I must have clicked on it multiple times. And there's the times, the local time if your WordPress is configured well. There's the user ID, the page again, and the contact. And that way you will know how many pages that person has visited before they contacted you. It's very useful information. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching and make sure you visit club.rubicius.com for more information on great new plugins that we release or some interesting tutorials. Have a great day. Bye.